I don't know about you guys, but I think this is Tesla's best free over the air software update that they have ever done, period. Because really airbags deploying faster, as in potentially one second faster, could be the difference between life and death. This is a massive upgrade for Tesla. Now Tesla have just revealed their latest over the air update. It's got heaps of changes, but this is by far the biggest change they actually made. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Tesla has said this, we are feeding information from Tesla Vision, as in all of their cameras, which now cover you know every angle of around the car we're feeding information from tesla vision into the airbag system so that when an impact occurs the airbag deploys faster the airbags do not deploy based on tesla vision alone now i actually think the airbags do deploy on tesla vision alone and that is the advantage of this update but tesla just wants to make it sound like oh don't criticize us because we're not going to do it on vision alone but actually we are Anyway, over the years, Tesla has focused on safety. And the truth is that in safety ratings in Europe and Australia and the United States, they consistently have the safest cars in the world. So full credit to them for doing this, for achieving this. I don't know if you remember that video I did and that story that was around when that maniac, I think he was a doctor, he drove his family off a cliff. I rode my bicycle right where he drove his car off. I was called the devil's slide and I got stuck there. Uh, when I was riding my bicycle and an old lady, she actually came and picked us up with her van and it was pouring with rain, just pouring with rain. I was freezing cold. She picked us up off the devil's slide where there was nowhere to go. It was like no side, side roads. There's no nothing to go. And that was an amazing experience I had in the United States. Anyway, Mary Lou picked us up and let us stay in her uh, motor home at her house for a week while this storm was around in this area. It was crazy. Anyway, this is a really dangerous road. This guy has gone and intentionally driven his family off this road. His kids are in the back seat. His wife's in the front seat. Initial reports called it a horrible accident, a family going over a California cliff in their Tesla, but miraculously surviving. Now the story has taken a shocking turn. Police have arrested the father, who just happens to be a doctor, and charged him with attempted murder. A family plunges over a 300 foot cliff in their Tesla and miraculously survives. Report of a white Tesla off the roadway. I don't know why he wanted to kill, kill them all and it didn't succeed. Uh, even though the car fell, I think 150 feet or 200 feet, it was, the fall was massive. It fell to the ocean, the rocks in the ocean below, uh, smashed against the rocks. People do this to kill themselves and it succeeded in the past and that's why he did it because other people have succeeded didn't work because the Tesla vehicle handled the handled this so well that him and his wife had some serious injuries, but they were okay and the kids were okay. Now, replying to a post from a Tesla driver in the United States who shared that the upcoming free software update for Tesla vehicles will include software to allow camera vision from the car to deploy airbags and restrain occupants in a crash, Tesla said, we are feeding information from Tesla vision, which will enable the airbags to deploy quicker. Think about it. If someone's coming at you, and 100 kilometers an hour or faster. Yeah, this happens all the time. And it's why, unfortunately, in spite of the fact that Australia, we're paying record amounts of money for speeding fines, right? Record amounts of money for speeding fines. Cars are safer. And yet the road toll is increasing. More people are dying. Because of situations like this, people, they, they go to sleep. They're drunk. They're not focusing. And they're doing 100 kilometers an hour or faster than that on a highway and someone's coming the other way and they hit you. There's nothing you can do. You're dead, right? But if a car's coming at you that quickly and the airbag deploys when they've already hit you, yeah, I mean, that kind of speed, you're going to probably die. But if the airbag deploys before they hit you, then you might have a chance. Um, so I think this update is huge. This is one of the safety features included in the update. There's other changes as well. There is an update to drowsiness detection in the car, which senses lane drifting by drivers and prompts them to use full self-driving supervised to stay focused on the road. I personally could 
have done with that. I remember in my younger days, I used to get tired and I remember a few times I did this. And I could have had, I've done that a few times, just driving when I was too tired. And I could have had bad accidents when I did that. The update was spotted in the upcoming 2025.32.3 update by Tesla. Uh, by Tesla's actual, you know, green, the only. Green, obviously, somehow. He's a hacker and he finds all this stuff. Now, Riz from Car Loop and the Driven.io says it has been reported that the feature has been rolled out with one owner sharing the message that they receive while driving. Lane drift detected. Let full self-driving assist you so you can stay focused. Tesla's basically saying full self-driving is going to drive better than a drowsy driver. And I think Tesla's right. Tesla's vehicles, of course, um, have, on a number of occasions, uh, prevented people from, I think, being killed in accidents. Uh, so this is another feature, I think. Kudos to Tesla for rolling this feature out. Often Tesla r roll out features and other car manufacturers will see them and they'll copy them. And I think this is good. Nothing wrong with that. And people obviously often criticize car companies. Oh, you copied them. You copied Tesla's gear caster. You copied it. Structural batteries. You put, I think it's good. Anytime there's good technology that helps save lives and improves a car, copying that is actually a good thing. So that's probably what will happen here. Um, other companies should also use vision because let's be real. If a car is coming at you at 100 kilometers an hour or more and it's about to hit you, you don't really want to wait for it to hit you for the airbags to deploy. You want it to actually, for them to deploy right that one second before that car smashes into you. Now, of course, you also don't want it to deploy if a car's not going to hit you. So you want the vision and the cameras to really know for sure that that car's going to hit you. That's going to be the tricky part. I'm going to guess that um, Tesla has done some, some pretty big work on this to make sure it works properly. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.